getting ready for hockey night here in the Carolinas on Saturday night along with Chip Tracy and Shane Willis and our fantastic Valley Sports crew. And here we go. Carolina and L.A. underway. Marty Natchez with a game-winning goal as Foss knocks down the clearing attempt. Carolina keeping the pressure on. Right down Broadway with a shot as Shea and Quick makes the save. Still loose. It's Kokanee on the other rebound and he scores! Carolina, 37 seconds in, up 1-0. Kokaniemi play to the whistle. Pressure from Tara Bynan. Support. You keep the puck in and then the wise pitch after the breakdown from the wingers from L.A. The initial shot from Shea. And Kokaniemi just did not assume that Quick had it. Locates the puck and scores. The video review room would maybe have more looks. Following review, the puck was played with a stick below the height of the shoulder. This is a good goal. You take the chance. You're early in the game. You rely on your kill. And maybe you win it. No. Andrew Podorowski, who got his first NHL point, wins the draw. Now Boston flips it, they score! not so good of a challenge. You win puck possession because of Niederreiter and Podokorowski. And then you get to the front of the net, you get to the middle, and Jesper Pons stick on both goals now has been golden. And uh, has been given the opportunity with everything that's gone on has, and has taken full advantage. He was the AHL's leading scorer last year. He was leading the AHL this year. Now the draws kept in and Anderson with another big save second swap that away denying Arvidsson twice Adrian Kempe with it Kempe two goals against the Canes on that Saturday game in November in LA now Kempe gets another chance Anderson denies him with the pad Nason and let's look at this save he anticipates that hits something locates with his eyes and then moves into the shooting funnel he played out quickly by Christian Willan now Kopitar Kopitar tries to send one in and crashing into Anderson is Kempe and both player and puck stay out of the net. Be interference, saucer from Kopitar. Kempe wins the race in the net. Kopitar does everything but score. See the interference from Shea. And watch what Anderson Carolina does here. Wow, Anderson look at how strong he was down low. Pesci to Code Kenyemi. He'll send it across Ice Shea. He hammers one. Rebound chance quick with the save. Follow up opportunity. And that'll be knocked away. Oh, a golden opportunity for the Canes. Not create a rebound. That's why he went to the glove side. And Foss nearly had his second of the period. Ten seconds left in the first. Kopitar with it in the high slot. His pass deflected by Niederreiter. Niederreiter with a good reverse hit on Lemieux, but the puck squeaks free, and Anderson has to be ready as time expires. Robin Kaliev right at the buzzer. As Marty Natchez will not return with an upper body situation after taking a hit from Kings defenseman Sean Dursey. So that's how we start the second period with that note. And the Canes right on time starting this with a chance to keep the puck in as Brady Shea at the blue line on a wrap chance. That quick knocked away. It's kept in by Pesci. He'll get it down low for Levo. Levo gets it back up top. Pesci shut the score! Jack Drury was out in front. The puck eludes Jonathan Quick, and the Canes are up 3 0. Like he did not contact it. Can't tell if he did. I can tell you, Levo did a heck of a job below the goal line. Gets the puck with pace. Back to Pesci. I think this is Pesci's goal, but ready shoot hockey. It may have contacted. He and Kempe will play with it, and he'll lose it. Now Trocek's got a breakaway. With speed, Trocek in on Quick on the backhand, and Quick has to make the save as Trocek was out of steam at the end of this shift. Mission draws the high stick, and this is where Trocek, even at the end of his shift, is looking to settle it to make that puck flat, and it drips on him. Tara Vinen, quickly to D'Angelo. Now Trocek, backhand pass D'Angelo to Tara Vinen to Kiniemi, back to D'Angelo to Tara Vinen. Tara Vinen, shot, he scores! A wrister on the power play for Tavo Tara Vinen, and a 4-0 lead for the Hurricanes. 
right here. He drew three guys. And then the pump fake from Tony D'Angelo. So the bumper play from Kogan Yemi, and then the pump before he went to the flank. Tara Biden on his natural side. Table took a look. Hughes Anderson as a screen. A product of Yale who won that huge game over the St. Louis Blues for Carolina. Uh, Tara Biden. He'll send the puck for Kokaniemi. Kokaniemi, he'll get it out, and Shea Point on a shot that Quick has to make the shoulder save on. That goes off of a body into the corner. Bear looks to clear. He'll get help from Faust, and Carolina gets the puck to the neutral zone, but right back in to the Kane zone. Lazat with a move. He'll take a shot and score. Blake Lazat picks the corner, and the Kings have broken through with 4.27 left in the second period. Turnover just on the far side of the red line. Then he makes a move, a heck of a move. Backhand, forehand to get Smith to commit. And what a rising shot. You can tell Anderson drifted a little bit to the short side, but Lazat, you look at player that excelled at. Eventually we'll get to it as Vincent Trocek will dig in. He'll take it away from Deneau and the Canes will Wrap this puck here into the LA King zone. Carolina raced out to a 4-0 lead. Ardvidsson, his back pass, and Drury returns the favor with a steal. And now his pass sending in all alone with the shot. And Stepan is robbed by Quick as Derek Stepan on a marvelous pass from Drury was in all alone. To create the chance. And here is where Drury had first turned the puck over, but didn't chase that mistake. Found a step on. The Kings were offside. So time just melting away. 5.35 left here in the third. Now Drury's in a quick, and he scores! Jack Drury, stick to it and miss. His second NHL goal. And this one is a beaut. Top shelf Jack Drury. What a pass. The cross ice pass from Stepan, just a, really a direction of the puck. And then the snipe, one toucher from Stepan, from Smith. And perfect placement from Jack Drury and another memorable celebration to beat Jonathan Quick with a snipe of all snipes. The refs say move it, Haynes do Lavo. He'll knock it down, and Jack Drury has it with two seconds. One second, he'll wrist one, and then he'll get a little shove for his problems by Matt Roy.